Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we're going to play with my Barista Express uh, and we're going to compare the inbuilt grinder of the Barista Express with my hand grinder chestnut uh, timer chestnut C2 I've enjoyed using it for pour overs. I tried to use it for the espresso on my uh, creme one uh, dua boiler, but today we're going to use it on uh, a Breville or Sage Barista Express and we see how, how it goes. Both of those grinders, the inbuilt grinder and the chestnut grinder on paper they look kind of similar uh, stainless steel both uh, this one is 38 millimeters this one difficult to find the information but possibly the same size uh, the difference is that this one has got 16 steps plus you can regulate the inner bar as well so you can adjust those steps this one for the espresso they recommend between 10 and 14 clicks so not much so uh, hopefully we will hit it right at the, the first time because if, if if that doesn't work then we will have to go below 10 which is not recommended uh, by the manufacturer by, by the producer uh, so the machine is nice and hot i pre-warm it uh, we're not going to use the bottom lace now nah. Uh, everything is nice, hot, ready to, to brew some coffee. Uh, so I'm using uh, coffee from uh, Nicaragua today. It's a Pipas London uh, coffee roaster. Uh, I've been buying from them for, for some time now. It's, it's good it's also not very expensive uh, so i like to buy a big bag of coffee i sometimes freeze them uh, so they last me for longer the bag like this one on a special offer you can get for like 25 pounds from them 30 25 30 pounds so this one is naturally processed uh, the tasting notes guayava pineapple passion fruit that's what we're supposed to taste i i mean i tried that coffee you see maybe one third of the bag left i've tried that coffee it's good but uh guayava pineapple passion fruit i no i couldn't taste them but it, it you can taste it's natural naturally processed it's, it's just those tasting notes i i cannot find so first my hand grinder so to adjust it first you have to move it to zero so you move clockwise until you hit the stop and then you count the clicks uh, so we will start with 10 i tried the 10 on my uh, creme one uh, the other day um, and it didn't go well we will see i will try with 10 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten clicks now time to prepare some coffee let's measure some coffee Uh, 20 grams, 20 grams today. It's probably I would be okay with 19 grams, but uh, I like I like my coffee strong, so I put 20. It's very it's 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 tasty coffee, but it's very difficult to dial. As I said, I couldn't hit those tasting notes. Um, 
I definitely want to risk uh, using a, a, a naked porta filter because it would be all over. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we'll get some decent shots. I'm not sure about you guys, but I really, really need some coffee now. So let's get to grinding. I'm putting the coffee inside. 20 grams. As you can see, this one, the capacity is about 25 grams, but this coffee, the coffee beans are so big, it, it's basically full now. Um, and a nice workout in the morning. Oh, that's a hard work. Okay, about 55 seconds. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's about it, it's about a minute depending how fast you grind, how dense the coffee is, the coarseness of the coffee. For the espresso, it takes about a minute for 55-ish seconds. Um, for pour over though, it takes no time whatsoever. 15 seconds for, for 15 grams of coffee for the pour over. So definitely for the pour over, it's a great grinder. Espresso, you can find better, but not for the price. <laughs> if you if you are willing to pay 150 pounds, you can you can find the the espresso hand grinder that you can consider using for the espresso, uh, like Easy Presso J Max, probably 40 seconds, uh, and you've got lots and lots of adjustments. Uh, this one just four clicks for the espresso. So I wouldn't recommend, but still, it will be fun to compare with the with the inbuilt uh, grinder. So the coffee is ready here. Let's measure another forty grams of coffee and uh, see how fast I can uh, grind it in the on the inbuilt grinder. Yeah, if you want, you can you can skip through the boring parts. Uh, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I guess if you watch this, you like watching people making coffee. Uh, I I really enjoy <laughs> watching other YouTubers. So, 40, uh, 20 grams of, of coffee. I will be catching it into. Oh, you know what? Let's catch it straight to the porta filter. So I put the uh, IMS filter basket here. It, I tried with twenty grams of this coffee. You will see it fits, but it's it's you cannot add any more to that. So definitely, we're going to need the uh, the funnel to. Otherwise, you wouldn't. The coffee would be all over. But not <laughs> everywhere, but but here. Uh, if you guys don't have it, I mean, it looks ugly. But this is this is a must-have for uh, Barista Express. If you use the inbuilt grinder, so let's have a look. was about 15 20 seconds <sighs> oh, it's nothing better than a freshly grounded coffee uh, we'll use the WT WDT tool uh, 
Let's make it even. Oh, can you, as you can see, lots of coffee, probably too much. Well, let's see what we can do with that. Probably one big mess. Okay. Now I will use the leveler. Yeah, the funny thing with the inbuilt grinder, you put 20 grams in and you never know what you're going to get. You may get 19, you may, you may get 22 from the previous uh, grinds. So it's always a little bit of lottery. So I, I don't really worry that much about it. But so now it's flat. Let's use a tamper. Now let's let's make an espresso. Uh, flash. My coffee scale. And I'm aim ideally I would like about 30 seconds. Uh, who knows what we're going to get. So 40 grams in 30 seconds would be great. Well, anything uh, more than 23 would be okay. Too fast, definitely too fast. So I have to do it again. Have to adjust my grinder. So yesterday I tried. On I tried this coffee and it worked. So today it didn't. So let's do it again. Okay. So take number shot number two. The first one was too fast. So let's see. So this time I moved to number four. So two clicks less than, than, than previous shot. Let's, let's see what we can get. So another take for the inbuilt grinder. Um, so that's the process guys. That's the fun with having uh, an espresso machine. I dial, I dialed that, that, that coffee yesterday. And it was working on the setting that I left. And today I have to play it again. That's 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 the beauty uh, or the frustration of of, of having a, a, an espresso machine. Uh, let's see if how how this one how this one works. Okay, this one, this one looks better. Yeah, so it's about 30 seconds uh, and we've got 43 grams. 
of coffee. Oh, at last, at last we managed to do it. So now let's clean the, the porta filter and quickly make a shot with the uh, timer. So I'm taking a uh, By the way, guys, I haven't, you haven't seen the shot. It's a nice, thick crema. It's a bit hot, but I will taste it. It's one of the better shots I've got from, uh, with this coffee from, from, uh, from the, my barista express. Sweetness, there is a sourness. Um, maybe I can taste the passion fruit, but maybe it's because they, they put that name on the, on the paper bag. Uh, pineapple? The fruitiness, yes. Um, I wouldn't say uh, passion fruit, pineapple uh, and guayava, but it, it's a very good, very, very decent shot. It just took me, I just wait, wasted like 40, 60 grams of coffee to get that one <laughs> great shot. And who knows, we could try to do the same shot on the same settings five minutes later and we could get a different results. That's the thing with the, with the Barista Express. It's, it, it's got its own mind uh, and it keeps surprising you which sometimes is great and sometimes might be frustrating if you if you if you like a milk based drinks you don't really you don't really care you, you won't notice the difference that if you're an espresso connoisseur um, you probably will notice okay so putting Coffee in. WDT. Make sure it's even. Okay, so straight away that coffee, what looks like is there is less coffee inside. Uh, uh, so probably a bit denser uh, coming from the hand grinder. Okay, uh, fingers crossed that I, I will get something drinkable out of it. Let's have a look. I'm not sure. Fast. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's a bit too fast. But I will take it for today. I don't want to waste any more coffee. But look at the quality of the shot. I mean, <laughs> if you if you if you're looking for a crema, that's more crema here than on the other 
Well, you don't see it here, but it looks like half of the glass is crema. Um, now, it was on the setting number 10, which is the lowest recommended setting for the for the espresso grind uh, on the hand grinder. Mm. Okay, so it, it is under under extracted. I don't. I'm not getting all the flavors from which I had from the from the shot on the inbuilt grinder. It's like two different coffees. It's it's it, it, it's it's drinkable. It's just if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean, it's, it's under extracted. It's 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 it, there. There is not that full, full uh, spectrum of of, of 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 flavors that you would get from 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 this one. So here I can just taste coffee no fruitiness no no sweet well there is a sweetness there is a sourness but it's all melted together uh, very flat it's, it's 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 drinkable i mean if i if i haven't had this one i would say this one is okay so the conclusion for for today uh kind of obvious if you have sage barista express with inbuilt grinder Use inbuilt grinder. Don't use uh, um, entry level hand grinder <laughs> if you have an inbuilt grinder. It takes a, a minute versus about 15 20 seconds. Uh, it takes some effort. And the results are not great. Um, it's it's drinkable you can you can you if if you have i don't know if this one was broken if the inbuilt grinder was was broken you can have a coffee with this one you can have an espresso with this one but it wouldn't be great and there are not enough steps on this one to, to, to properly adjust for espresso. Now, I'm thinking if you have a lever machine like flare, something you can control the pressure, possibly even on my on my Creme 1 when I have when I have a barista knob, you can regulate the pressure. Something you can control the pressure, you can save the shot from this. Because you you can you can pr you can extend the shot or you can make it run faster whatever you like so you can lower the pressure you can you can play with the extraction time. But then again, what's the point? So this one, great for pour overs. I haven't tried on a French press, but possibly I guess it would be a, a very good as well. I tried it on a, a Aero press when I went for holidays. Uh, it works. It definitely was the best coffee um, you could get in the in the holiday place that I went to. Uh, so I do, I still do recommend it. I still do recommend it as a entry level uh, hand grinder. About fifty pounds I paid. So for that money, it's 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 it feels good. It it works well, but not for espresso uh thank you very much for watching my name is jack this is my coffee show uh if you if you enjoy you can press like if you don't like it you can also press press like it will help my channel you may consider subscribing i will i have lots of ideas for uh, future videos but for today thank you for watching uh, enjoy your coffee and see you next time thank you bye